Good, Adam, how was yours? I mean, everyone says, ooh, Texas is the hardest place in the nation to kayak baits. Honestly, I mean, looks just like the panhandle except for the beach is brown, so. How, how was the first kayak, man? Pretty easy. Not too bad? Nothing. Bait's out though. It is later in the day today. We spent the majority of the day just hanging out. Not a lot to show for our efforts besides small sharks, pompano, bluefish, and a lot of hardheads. But no sweat. Adam had a great opportunity there sticking the first really true fish of the trip. And as you guys saw, got tight. Popped off from either a cutoff or there was shell rub on the line. And when he got tight, that weak braid went ahead and popped off and did the uh, you know, the old finisher on it. But fresh baits, six rods set back in our spread, and we're gonna get back in action for the evening time, hopefully to show you guys a Mondo shark. Let's do it. Ew! First shark of the trip. Fine tooth? It looks like a fine tooth to me. Yeah. Black edges, no interdorsal ridge, no black nose. First one of the trip? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let me flip them over, man. You're getting the first shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, just wait. 
wait till you get to the bar. Man. Absolutely bomb is real. Um, morning time. Checking in with you guys. Not again an ideal hookup scenario. We uh, we're all kicking back, sleeping, and got a run this morning. Blaine jumps up. We all jump up. I get the camera on, and Blaine's stuck on his narrow big fish. What we believe to be another hammerhead, um, just like Adams good run, the way they fight, the way they pick up a bait, all uh, signs of a big hammer. 
Go ahead and get some stuck. He pulled some drag, as you guys saw, at uh, right around 50, 55 pounds of drag. And then heartbreak. Hammer swims in on us, makes a charge to the beach. Blaine's already gassed from reeling in six, 700 yards of line. And um, too much slack in the line equals lost fish most times. So we lost that fish. But no, uh, can't cry for spilled milk. It's happened, it's over with. So Blaine ties on a new leader, gets a new bait, new weight. Ran a new leader back out there, just bombed it. So we're set up, sun's coming up. Day number two, we're still proper fishless. No big deal, it's gonna happen. Let's go get it done, right Cody? Yes sir. Just gotta Let's keep grinding, it. gotta keep going, gotta keep going. This one hit before it even got, before you even got back to the beach. Alright, well, one of the things I came to Texas looking for was a decent sized bonnet head. And there she is. So, now she is. So, there you go. <laughs> a little member of the hammerhead family, a little different, kind of an estuarine fish, eat a lot of shellfish and stuff. This one smoked the fish bites, threw up the crab on the beach. So, yeah, that's the jam. Woo, so, let's get a release. Oh! <laughs> this thing just got smoked. This is what we came to Texas for, the surf fishing bite. Nice school. Mine's a cover six. There's a ton of those around. Yep. All right. Well, I just had to go. I had to go out and change, not change, I well, changed my weight, not change my bait. So everything started drifting on us. The waves have, in about two and a half hours, the the wind went from 10, 15 to what? 25 30 yeah it's around 30 or so right it is now. it is absolutely blowing and the waves went from one foot maybe to three four five cody's a texas expert what do you think these are because i'm six to eight feet right now six eights yeah. the, the thing is we're pre-front fishing and uh, we don't have cell signal we don't have service we think the front is pushing about 24 hours yeah. earlier than expected yeah so we're kind of in it for the long haul right now yeah we were anticipating the front pushing tomorrow and we were going to leave in the morning to miss the front one so like we wouldn't have to do this and kayak and six to eight foot waves with 30 mile an hour winds but then on top of that we're out on pins and for those of you guys who do not know padre island national seashore in texas it's we drive on the beach and if the waves get big and the wind pushes the waves up and also the tide rises we may not leave or be able to leave and we don't have cell signals so it's not like hey mom i'm okay no no one no one knows where you are so interesting stuff but it's we got the bait set and we're just chilling so might as well take advantage of 30 mile an hour winds and six eight foot waves and go play in them so let's go <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Texas, just to start out, Texas, one, GCN, zero. We are home now. It's been a couple days, had a few trips, um, and then, you know, we're actually sitting down making the video for you guys, and then we wanted to do a little talk session with you guys after the Texas trip because you guys experienced Texas through that video right there, but obviously um, there's a little bit of mentality and background and just the, we were there the whole time, so... It's uh, always good to share that side of the trip with you guys. So, 